I am neither here nor there. I am an echo of my past and future and present self. I am an echo of everybody who thought about this at least once in their life. I'm an echo extremely full of herself. Anyway, these memories are in mine, by the way. They belong to someone else. But somehow they found their way into my consciousness. I live and breathe them, but I feel like they're stolen. I remember the chilly early spring Friday nights, millenniums ago when we would gather in a meadow by the apartment complex, and oh, how complex it was. Away from the civilizations, and we would light a huge bonfire, as big or bigger than ourselves. Sausages with bread and condiments potatoes that we would bury in the ashes and they would bake until the end of the party. Then we would consume them with cottage cheese and salt, doused by beer. I don't think people actually like the taste of beer or any liquor at first. They get used to it. Same as cigarettes. It's a culture of cigarettes and booze ingrained in us from a very early age. Parents drinking and smoking in a house or out on the balcony or out the window and then at a young age us telling ourselves we would never, we could never smoke or drink. Anyway, the subject of drinking was omnipresent, like a power source from somewhere unknown. People giving testimonials at the church on Sundays about their addiction, we would laugh at them. We could never be there. We could never reach a moment we, when we would think about it before we took that shot. I certainly never thought it would happen to me. Whiskey looks so good in that shot glass. It makes my mouth water. The brown liquor, so innocent, so pure and burning, so easily available and advertised everywhere. How could it cause any problems? How could it devastate lives and families like an avalanche of shit and hatred? Not born in this country, you see. I'm from a land far, far away where everything happens in a delayed state or... Perhaps it's the pace I'm confusing it with. It's a place ravaged and raped by war, or the memory of it, at least, still breathing deeply in our collective minds. Being away from that place only strengthens its memories, the bad ones especially. Those friendships created at a bar, I swear, where with the help of the booze you make friends for life, sharing stories and secrets and after-hour spots. Secrets you won't entirely remember the next day, but you will remember the significance and the weight of them. The connection you make with those people does not go away. It is forever embedded in the fibers of the universe of that precise moment in time. It's something that could never be replicated. There are, of course, those people who left your life, your timeline already. Those are the ones you see randomly. I see the people from my past in the faces of today's encounters. They make me long for home, long for a moment of tranquility long gone. And then I realize I stare too much and I'm jolted back into the reality of here and now. It sucks, for the most part. Then I get used to that hollow feeling in my chest. I even relish it sometimes. Makes me realize how far I've come. Huh. Measuring my accomplishments in the hollowness of my being, I guess, the more you know. You know when you see or meet someone for the first time and you get that feeling deep down somewhere that tells you that you know you'll fuck them at some point? Even when that is not on your mind clearly, even if it's just a thought that you that you'd like to fuck them at some point. Sometimes it takes a few hours before the deed is done, sometimes a few days or even years. For some strange reason, the thought of it is way better than the act itself, almost always. I wonder what is it about booze that's so intoxicating? And I don't just mean the way it enters your bloodstream and warms you up from the inside, I mean, feeling you get, the one that makes you feel like you are on top of the world when anything you do is invincible. Funny, that feeling lasts just about a moment and then you're back to where you started, which usually is the line back to the bar. All of these crazy memories, I love them. They are a part of me. I wonder, though, 
how they would happen if I didn't party as much as I have. I mean, so much time wasted, so many friendships made. Drinking has always been a part of the family. Yes, I know what I'm saying. It is a family member. I remember it being there even before I could remember everything else. Drinking is very much embedded in the family. There's been many moments in the life of the family, not just my family, but any family similar to mine, which called into drinking. Birthdays, name days, christenings, weddings, funerals. Fridays, Saturdays, Sundays. Bonfires and cutting school celebrations of the happy time. Crying over the sad times. The balance is incredible to assess as either right or wrong, either right or wrong. So much training, which started so early. I used to think it was an awesome thing I could drink most under the table. Wake up proud of that, dazed out, coming to days later trying to pick my life up where I left off. What's the standard to compare myself to? Living true to yourself is not easy where you don't know which way is your north. Knowing if you are anchored or still drifting through the consciousness of bad decisions and even worse self-judgments. I always pitied the women who could not hold their liquor or drank very little. Always thought that was their way to make themselves weaker, playing down their abilities, wanted saving and salvations, as opposed to be equal to them and doing the same things. I had it wrong. Drinking is not the way to measure equality of the sexes or equality of individuals. Where did I turn that corner of this askew point of view? I made myself weaker. Not only against anybody else, but also myself. The person from the other universe, the alternate universe, all those years ago would not recognize me. She would most certainly never been proud of herself today. Is it too late? Could it ever be too late? I'm in this deep well. The light is poking through somewhere high above me, unreachable. Will I ever be able to reach the top? And if I do, what do I find? Could I ever be just happy?